Over the past several years here on the Leon Lust channel, we've made an effort to celebrate love, even if that love falls under what may be considered more extreme conditions if you compare it to societal norms. For example, we had the German woman that wanted to get married to a 747. My wish is this auch, dass ich mit meine 737 then there was Philip who wanted to feed his girlfriend up to 1,000 pounds to turn her into his very own adipose playground. I love her fat. Yes! How her fat moves under her clothes. Donna's body is a fat lover's playground. And we can't forget my friend Andrew that married a dog. My name is Tony and I'm a human pup. I'm Andrew. I'm Tony's husband and trainer. Or more specifically, a female that became a man to then role play as a dog. <laughs> Whatever I got here. Whatever I got here. Oh, give me that. Okay, well, that was horrifying. So as we continue the celebration today, we do so understanding that sometimes peculiar relationships can be funny. Like when you post up on your girl's computer chair and act as her footrest while she's typing up emails. We're pretty normal couple every single day, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. I mean, that shit is kind of funny. But we also do it with an underlying theme of love and support for people unabashedly living their truths, being themselves, loving one another, not worried about what the world thinks, even if it's a little bit different than the norm. And let's be honest, the norm, <laughs> not working out so hot, right? 40 to 50% divorce rate in the greater US, I mean, maybe they're onto something and we're just trying to catch up. And quite frankly, how two consenting adults get on with one another, how they choose to express their love to each other behind closed doors, not gonna affect you or I, it's nobody's business. Unless, of course, you invite a huge media company in to make a documentary about it to then get blasted out on their YouTube channel of 8 million subscribers for everyone to see, then it's like 10% yeah, our business. So we're gonna watch it. <laughs> but before we do that, I wanna talk about something that is 100% our business, and that is getting good wireless earbuds at an affordable price, which is why Fireplace Leon is waiting patiently in the next room to tell us about it. Fireplace Leon, we're ready for ya. Okay, thanks, weirdo. <laughs> Well, welcome back guys. Once again, we're here with the Raycon Everyday E25s, but we are joined this time by this cozy ass fireplace right behind me. Raycon continues to be my preferred choice for a quality wireless earbud that comes in at half the price of other premium brands. They are stylish, the bass hits, and they're discreet. So you're gonna be the flyest player in the room, or should I say Zoom call, for your next day at home work meeting. With six hours of playtime, Bluetooth pairing that is a dream, and a noise isolating fit that comes in multiple colors, it's a fat, heavy W. I use them all the time, I work out in them. I poop in them. I even warm up in them by the fireplace when the air conditioning in this office gets too cold. I, by the way, the case charges them on the go. I've gone weeks without ever having to plug these in. So if you're due for an affordable pair of true wireless earbuds, look no further, because right now they're offering 15% off an already affordable price if you use my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush for 15% off. Get your very own pair today. I love you. Thanks for watching. I'm Madame Posh, and this is Bound Mystic, my gentleman, and welcome to the MP experience. So here we have Madame Posh and Bound Mystic, just an absolutely lovely couple. She's a professional dominatrix out of Arlington, Texas, and they don't say exactly what he does, but judging by the fact he calls himself Bound Mystic, I'm gonna roll the dice and say he's like a professional dungeon master or like a level 120 no more lock in World of Warcraft. For me, the day-to-day -day submissive role is me basically being available. Are you making me a cup of tea? There's no pretending I, she wants something. She asks, I provide it. This is typically your foundation for your rope suspension. I mean, aside from the ropes and being a floor mat, that's kind of the staples of any healthy relationship, I think. You should be available for your partner, and if they really want something, you should try to figure out a way to make that happen, right? We're, we're, we're a pretty normal couple every single day, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. There's just, uh, you know, certain aspects that I'm sure actually more women would appreciate in their relationships. like not having to get up to get refills on drinks or, you know, like having someone to, you know, to do the dishes after you cook or something. And that person isn't groaning about it. Like they're grateful and excited and, and that's, it's fulfilling for them to do that as well. I mean, come on, Madam Posh hit the jackpot. All right, she found herself a man that is grateful, excited, and gets fulfilled by doing all of the things that every woman on the world wishes their husband would do more of. And this man does it with a smile on his face and then will lie down under your feet while you work at the end of the night. <sighs> and don't get it twisted, Bound Mystic hit the jackpot too. I mean, 
textbook definition of punching up. Prodom is just short for being a dominatrix, professional dominatrix. We use titles that aren't as frequently used. Uh, he is my gentleman and I'm his lady. My lady. Apparently my hands pack a punch. I've heard many times from different bottoms that my hands are worse yeah, <laughs> than most of the worse toys. Than any paddle. I'm not sure. Like, <laughs> well, that's just because he hasn't gone five rounds with these paws right here. We're trying to feel some real heavy hands bound, Mystic. You know who to holler at, right? Maybe afterwards we could raid a dungeon or role play as a footstool, whatever. The options are limitless. The day to day submissive role is me basically being available. Um, no questions. Well, I do question a lot, but. Um, <laughs> I mean, the commitment by Bound Mystic here to the submissive role, even during these little interview segments, he won't even sit at the same level as her. He's like her little lap dog. Basically, whatever she asks of me, I, I do. Are you complaining? No, my lady. There's no planning or no pretending. I, if she wants something, she asks, I provide it. See, it makes no sense to me because this is the type of dude that ladies will tell you they want, right? Pays attention to me, takes care of me, does what I say, calls me all the time, never leaves me hanging. But then they're out dating the jocks and the dickheads, getting cheated on all the sense. Ladies, if you want to get taken care of, you got to get yourself a BDSM boy. Like you log onto Twitter for 15 seconds and you'll see 400 men are trash tweets by presumably good looking women, right? I'm just wondering where y'all are looking, okay? Because you know there's thousands of other bound mystics out there ready to be your footstool. Stop dating e boys. Find yourself uh, bound mystic. I have a very natural dominant personality. And I think that it was more me trying to find the environment in which that would be appreciated because most of my life I was in environments where it was not appreciated. And a part of this aspect of my lifestyle is me being kind, able to kind of reclaim power back. Nothing wrong with that. Posh knew what she wanted, went out and got it instead of sitting in her house and crying about it on Twitter. Hey, hey how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. What is on the menu? We are... Um... All right, I'm just going to say this, and I, I don't mean it negatively. Many times I talk about my wife's resting bitch face on my second channel. If you watch that, you know what I'm talking about. But my dude here, this is like resting disgruntled face. <laughs> Counterbalanced, however, by that fabulous mohawk. Oh, yeah, yeah it smells, smells so good. Yeah, it smells so good. Mm. It's like new car smell for rope people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I was today years old when I found out that new rope smell was a thing that people enjoyed. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, that is good. That is a USB-C cable. Can't be more than three days old. About a year ago, uh, I became her client. At first, I wasn't quite sure about her, to be honest. Touching affectionately. <laughs> you knew I was a predator from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that I don't think that joke would really play so well if the roles were reversed. And quite frankly, I know they couldn't have known this at the time of recording, but it's a sour time to be talking about predators right now. With all this beauty community and Shane Dawson stuff going on, my heart can't take much more. There's something about her. I think she actually so showed up to an event where she wasn't dressed in makeup or, or in gear. She just showed up as herself and said, okay, this, this is a very human person. That's when, I, that's when I felt that there's something about her that I'm actually liking on a personal level. Uh, I didn't expect this question. I know, and you've never said that before. Yeah. Don't give me the feels on camera. <laughs> Together. If that was not the cutest damn shit I have ever seen, I absolutely adore these two. I took my first rope class because I had uh, had a friend that was getting into rope, and you know, by the second or third class, I was like, oh my goodness, I think I really, really like this, and I just kind of really discovered the art of it and the engineering of it. It's a, it, there's a lot of science and understanding force and and uh, creating pulley systems, and that kind of really intrigued me. Okay, things are heating up pretty quick. I was on board for the being available and doing nice things for one another, but then we jumped off a cliff right into Japanese rope bondage, and I am uncomfortable, okay? I was raised very conservative and led to believe that having sex was reserved for missionary, lights off, only when conceiving a child was the goal. Everything else is a sin. Let's pump the brakes, please. This is... 
Um, this is typically your foundation for your rope suspension. Is going to be your chest harness. This this part of the um, the tying is more being a more observant of what she's doing and of her subtle things. I notice is the temperature of her hands. So you can see, like as I move these around, I'm getting different shapes. And he's this getting geometry different class? sensations. The fuck is this? Oh yes, I get a lot of. Oh this. boy. This seeing this, I I enjoy giving people an amazing experience. You see, this is why I think people just need to be more open, more willing to try and view life outside of the lens that they've created for themselves through their own life experience and understand that an amazing experience for Bound Mystic might be different than your own amazing experience. I like to play Call of Duty with the boys. I like to get dubs in Warzone. I like to go to the water park and have a couple Mai Tais by the pool before smashing a few rounds in the wave pool. Bound Mystic likes to get tied up with rope and hung from a hook like he's a map decoration from Diablo 3. All of these are amazing experiences. It just depends on who you ask. This, seeing this. Madam Posh knows that it's not about what you say to someone. It's about how you make them feel that leaves a lasting impact, which is why Bound Mystic was her client first and is now her devoted subservient slave slash partner. And they are happier than any couple I've ever seen, quite honestly. Like if you were to ask me, hey Leon, who's happier? The Ace family or Madame Posh and Bound Mystic? Uh, gee. No doubt in my mind that these two are sleeping better at night than the Ace family. And he talked and talked and talked and talked and mentioned how many times that he, he didn't understand why people would really be into rope. Um, and then about halfway through taking the rope off, he was like, oh, now I get why people might like this. <sighs> don't knock it till you rock it. Or should I say, don't nope it till you rope it. I'm gonna let him process for a few minutes even before I start taking the rope off. He's gonna get the shivers. Uh, that's, the, it, that's the aftermath of an adrenaline rush like that is you're gonna get cold. Are you sure that's not just a side effect of like thoracic asphyxiation? I mean, I you're the expert. I'm gonna leave it to you. I'll trust you on this one. Typically before I can even get the rope off, I have to like wrap him up in a blanket because he's gonna start shivering. She was not kidding about the amazing experience. One thing that attracts me to her is her level-headedness. I'm not with somebody who one minute wants to do this, one minute wants to do that. It's like, there's a clear, there's a clear path. She's, she's a very, stabilizing and calming effect on my life. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I just can't stand how adorable they are together. Son of a bitch. I think one of the main things that attracted me to him was he had so much to bring into the conversation. Uh, I actually tried this on him and thought that it looked absolutely ridiculous. He looked like he looked like a nerd that got lost in the goth club. And I mean I mean, he's so handsome, number one. Like, let's start there. Facts. So out of all the extreme love episodes I've watched over the years and some of the weird stuff we've seen, this obviously isn't that extreme when it comes to relationships. It's not like someone's trying to marry a plane or whatever. Uh, BDSM is, I think, pretty well accepted now as a, as, as a kink for uh, a huge demographic of people. And these guys, quite frankly, genuinely seem like compatible like they really like each other and they seemed very natural on camera the way they were talking about each other kind of an enjoyable episode to watch is you know it's fun to poke fun at some of the things but they seem like lovely people if i'm being if i'm being honest with you this is wholesome you can tell they really care about each other i love this showing off how a bdsm relationship works confidently i'm glad most of the comments are positive because these two aren't hurting anyone and look genuinely happy son of a bitch even the youtube comments showed up with the positivity which if you know anything about youtube is like finding a ribeye at a vegan's house i mean this shit is insane this is going to be talked about by every commentary you Thank you guys for continuing this celebration of love here on the Leon Lush YouTube channel. I genuinely wish these two nothing but happiness and prosperity, which is exactly what I wish for you guys that made it this far in the video. Thanks for watching. If you could subscribe if you're new, that would mean the world to me and do me one last favor before you go. Hip thrust that motherfucking like button. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. So invite me to your crib. Bring my magic fingertips Say maybe I can run them up and down the hall Like the Abati Until you bust another